Hey yo, this is Dash, and it is time. It's time for me to harvest my potato boxes. Let me get you guys brought in. Hey yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so hopefully you can hear me well enough. And you guys have the bird's eye view down into the box here. But I'm getting ready to start pulling and, and tugging getting everything out of here. So these are sweet potatoes. These are my O. Henry variety of sweet potatoes that I ordered from like Guernsey or something like that. Guernsey, I believe. Holy cow. Look at that. I see a big one right, right on the top. Look at that right there. I see a big old one right there, right on the top. This gives me hope. Look at that. <laughs> That's two. Wow, oh man, I think I just damaged it maybe. I think it just damaged it, but look at the size of that. There's my hand in comparison to the size of the sweet potato. Found another cluster. Huh. I don't know, that one doesn't look so hot. There's another small one. Look at that. There's another one. Take it. A leaf, just to fake me out, A leaf. That looks like it was, oh no. That's a freaking walnut that a squirrel buried. Ugh. All right, found another one hiding in the corner there. We got another one down here, all the way at the bottom of the box there. Nice. Here we go. Got another one chilling off in the corner. And I'm down to the bottom here. A little senior rooter.
All right. All right, that was box one. The box further to the, closer to the street. I'm gonna go ahead and start digging into box number two. I'll get you guys moved and uh, you guys in there and I'll show you guys the full harvest once I'm done. Looking promising already. Try to keep the potatoes separate. Another one. seems like in that almost same exact position I had potatoes that didn't do so well it's another decent size potato Looks like the biggest one yet. I mean. All right, so unfortunately my camera the battery that I thought was sufficiently charged for me to do this of course it died uh, about three quarters of the way through now I will tell you on the second box okay first box second box I did get two more decent size O. Henry and again this is the the type of potato O. Henry sweet potato that I was able to harvest and I guess without further ado I'll show you guys exactly what I got all right so here we are these are the potatoes that I got from the first box hopefully we focus move my hand out the way and those are the potatoes I got from the second box but you see this is where they are set up on the side of the house and uh, this is one of the things that I think happened with this and why I have I mean that's enough for a meal but I was hoping for more but the deer, and I've, I've told you guys this, the deer come uh, up from the driveway and they, they just post up right here and they eat all the leaves. So they eat all the leaves off of the plant. And with that being said, what I think we're gonna end up having to do is build some sort of surround. So if you guys can come up with some sort of idea to help me protect the boxes, if I do in fact keep them there. But if you could help me figure out something to do to help protect those my potatoes I'd greatly appreciate it now I had I won't say someone it was Victor Victor he's the garden guy he wanted me to ditch the boxes and try to grow them down here in the soil here now the reason why I really don't want to do that is because this soil is not very it's, it's not good it's full of gravel and it's it's just really hard packed and I don't think it would be decent which is why I, I do a lot of things in boxes uh, this also we built it up a few inches so there's you know top soil down there and then mulch on top so you probably have six eight inches of dirt down in there but uh, I think again I'm going to try again next year and as you see and here the ice cream man I did actually get some potatoes so I'm pretty happy with that uh, of course I wish there were more but beggars can't be choosers all right so if you enjoyed this please let me know down below 
and maybe next year we can do this together again victor had a decent idea with us kind of me challenging you guys to grow some sweet potatoes at home you see it's not very difficult you pretty much set them and forget them you don't even have to do much watering to the sweet potatoes just get them in the ground waiting until for my um for my application it was the first frost today is friday we had our first frost on tuesday i came home today and it's warm enough for me to be in a t-shirt it's in like the low 60s so i figured i'd get out here before i lost all of the sun and harvest the potatoes it took me all of a half an hour and hopefully that freaking ice cream truck isn't too too bad thank you guys so very much as always for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe and maybe 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 join me next year for more you can't see the buckets for more garden stuff in in addition to the barbecue stuff more butter baby <laughs> hey look guys down below is listed the P.O. Box. If you want to send us something to try, a sauce, a seasoning, some jerky, feel free, something funny, something for us to try, send it to the P.O. Box below. It's always listed in the description. But Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Join us on Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We go live for two hours. In the first hour, we talk about barbecue or something barbecue business related the second hour come as you please and bring your flesh and we talk about anything and then we talk about anything all right well not her but me so sometimes you know. i peek, peek in. yes you do so you want to tell them thank thank them again for watching thank you again for watching and we'll see you oh i'm sorry and please do subscribe and we'll see you next time all right thank you Bye. guys